Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to a new video of Triple Grace. Finally we are here, it is our time, it is the time of 1st of June when we enter this fantastic month. It is the time for our Bridegroom Jesus to come. I see the heaven rejoicing, rejoicing over each and every bride that has made herself ready. ready to meet the Lord, ready to meet their bridegroom, ready, standing at the door with their lamps trimmed and their beautiful white dresses, ready to move out, to meet the bridegroom and to enter their destiny and purpose on earth. Brothers and sisters, this is our month. Are you ready? Yes, we are all ready. We are prepared and chosen for a long time. A long time we have made ourselves ready for this moment. And now the Lord is coming and he is not coming alone. The Lord has given me a vision that angels will come with Jesus. And I will meet an angel first and then Jesus himself and then enter my destiny. All this was shown and it will all come to pass. All the promises that the Lord has given to us will be fulfilled now. It is our time to shine. Our destiny has arrived. Brothers and sisters, it is so important to know that a new life is beginning, a new race, and you will be transformed. You will get strength and power once the portal will open. That will happen very soon. All this was re revealed, and you will walk and run with the truth. As it is written in Isaiah 61, you will become trees of righteousness, and you will have the power to set the captives free. All will be fulfilled. And then the rest of the Lamb will come at the end of the seal, at the end of the next seven years. Now Jesus is coming for the brides, for the first fruit of the wheat harvest. Now he is coming for selected little ones that he will take to the third heaven with the with a bigger portion of the Leabrites. And the other one who have volunteered, the Leabrites and the Rachel Brites, will remain and will do an extraordinary work for the kingdom. A harvest is coming, two and a half years of harvest, of a glorious harvest, where a multitude clothed in white will be gathered that no one can number. All what is written in the scripture will be fulfilled, brothers and sisters. The Lord is coming with an entourage, with the best men, the Holy Spirit, and with angels surrounding him. And he is coming to bring the light. The light of the world will return to the earth. This is a moment in time that we were all praying and waiting for. It is coming now. And we are all eagerly standing at the door with our trimmed lamps and in our fine wedding dresses, waiting for the Lord. This is a moment in time when the sons of God will be birthed for their destiny. And that includes the daughters. And it's a time when the brides of, of Christ will meet the bridegroom and that includes the son, the sons, all of us. day is coming, the moment in time when you will embrace your Lord and Savior, and you will abide in Him and He in you, and the two will become one. This is a two, two, two season, the season of the witnessing. You will witness to the kingdom. You will be a witness to the glory and the power of the Father on the throne. You will be a witness to the truth that was revealed to you over the last seven years. And you will be a witness to the light. You are not the light. You are a witness to the light and you will walk as his images here on earth. The light is our bridegroom Jesus Christ. And you will be a witness to him as John the Baptist was a witness to Jesus' first coming. And this all will begin now. 
We do not know the day nor the hour in June, but it will come to pass. Just be ready at all times, day and night. It can come at an hour that you do not believe and think of. Make sure that he will not find you naked, but that you are closed and ready for the wedding. The wedding banquet is set up. The guests are invited. The bridegroom is gathering the bride. He will bring the bride home. We have reached. This is a moment in time. The portal in heaven opens in a mighty way. The mighty hand of the Lord be seen. Transformation. The stones throw, and Jesus will be here for 40 days in the fulfillment of the sign of Jonah in the Gospel of Luke. What is the end of the first seven years? And then we go into Mark, the seal tribulation. But do not worry. You are a chosen vessel, a warrior in the remnant army of New Zion, and the army is going to march forward now with a full armor. You are putting on your head the helmet of salvation, your fortress and bulwark, Jesus Christ. And you take the sword of the Spirit in your hands. The truth that, were revealed, that was revealed over the last seven years, and you wield it like a sword. And you will set many lost sheep free from the bondage. That sword will cut the bondage to the enemy and to the world and gives them a chance to return to their first love, return to the Father into his open arms. A great harvest is decreed, and a great harvest will be done. And you rejoice. Rejoice, brides, that you were chosen for this time, for this time to serve. You are serving as a true son and daughter of the Most High in a, in a pattern to Jesus Christ. He was a perfect son, and now you will also be the sons of God, and that includes the daughters, of course. Walking as his images on earth, spreading the truth, setting the captives free. The enemy will flee from your sight. The light will surround you. Yes, you will receive a mantle of light, but that does not make you the light. You will be just the witness of light, as John the Baptist also had the light. But he was not the light. And you will testify to this. And you will testify to the coming of Jesus. And you will testify to be when you see him here in Jerusalem standing for 40 days. No matter the opposition, no matter what the churches will tell you, no matter how many mockers and scoffers will come against us, we are the bride of Christ. And we know the signs of the times. We are prepared. We are prepared to build the safe havens. We are prepared to build the altars. We are prepared to bring in the harvest. We are prepared to guide them to Mount Zion. And there, at the sixth seal, in six years' time, the rapture will take place. At the mountain, after the war against the mountain of 2nd Esther chapter 13, when the Lord will seek another group, the righteous group, and in this righteous group there will be people standing with offerings in his hands, in their hands. And that will be you, the harvest workers, and the warriors of the remnant army of New Zion. New Zion is that stone that will be cast and that, grow into the, that will grow into the mountain, into Mount Zion, over the sealed tribulation the next seven years. And then, then, at the sixth seal, you will see, and the whole world will see, Mount Zion standing over the earth, and they will be so afraid that they will hide in the mountains and say, Fall on us, the rest of the Lamb, and the rest of the one who sits on the throne has come. But that is the sixth seal. Now we are beginning the tribulation. Now we are beginning. Jesus is coming. He is the true white rider. Is there a fake white rider? Of course. In the midst of seals, we know the Antichrist will come into full power. 
But it all begins with Jesus Christ, the light of the world to return now for the brides. Finally, the Father has allowed Jesus to come to collect the brides. The wedding is prepared, the banquet is ready, the guests are invited, and you will be part of it. Even if you know that you are a Rachel bride and you know that your wedding will take place in paradise at the end of seals, but you will be on that wedding, standing next to your sister Leah when she gets married first. We have it all seen in the scripture, it's all there. Laban and Jacob. It's a pattern to it all. Seven, seven, seven. And now we are in the 222 season, the season of the witnessing. And it is all beginning right now. Rejoice, brides. Your bridegroom is here. He is here. And you will meet him so very soon. Not one yod or tittle of the scriptures will fail. Not one promises will fall void of the Father. Everything will be fulfilled. It is time, brothers and sisters, to stand strong and to turn the tables on the enemy. It is time to receive everything back what he has stolen. It is time to rejoice in the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is time to receive the mantle so that we can walk as images of his here on earth. To spread the truth, not the truth of the churches, not what they believe in their personal agenda, but the truth from heaven that was revealed to us over the last seven years. And that includes the understanding of Luke, Mark, and Matthew, that Luke was for the first easy years, that Matthew, uh, that Mark was for, is for the sealed tribulation now, beginning right now, and that Matthew is for the house of Judah and the trumpets. So if you quote Matthew for your agenda, then that's for the house of Judah and has nothing to do with the churches. Brothers and sisters, you have understood it all and you are prepared and ready and you have closed yourself and you have put on you the full armor on you, the full armor of God with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. And I can see you all standing at the door with your trimmed lamps and the wedding dress, ready to rush out when the entourage of Jesus and the angels and the Holy Spirit are coming to, towards you, you will rush out and you will fall at his feet and you will embrace your bridegroom and you will hug him and you will kiss him and you will abide him in and he in you and you will become one. What a glorious picture, brothers and sisters. And it is all for us. Because we are accounted worthy to stand before the Son of Man, because we are watching diligently. We have repented over our sins, our sins are forgiven, and a new life will begin. The time for the wedding is here. The bridegroom is here. He is just a step away. And then we will all be standing with him forevermore. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.